you work. So whatever the creative, which is the the feminine, you work. It's a energy that makes you want to accomplish things, accomplish goals, get stuff done. Um, it's very powerful as well, but they both need each other. You can be a single person. You can be a single person and actually if you work with a woman as a man, she can become a muse for you if she sits in her energy, sits in her power and vice versa. You can be a woman who sits in your feminine energy, but your counterpart is a male masculine energy. So he executes as you come up with the creatives. So what am I saying? We need each other. The bottom line is this whole situation with him thinking he's going to attract other than what he is, is a goddamn lie. You go, he's going to meet, he's going to meet his person and his person is going to be a person like himself. He's going to attract himself. Now, far as body count, I'm just going to be clear with it. I don't believe that women should be having sex all willy nilly around the world. And I don't think men should either. I'm just going to be honest with you because men, you develop soul ties that you're unknowingly know how to fucking break. And you get with women and you put all of that energy from that crazy chick or that crazy thing you was with all back onto that person that you're, you're with and vice versa women, but women understand those bonds. Because we get them. So we understand them. So we understand that we don't want to bond with another if we bonded with you. So that's why a lot of times women can be in relationships a long time. But let's be clear. I even posted in. And if you have not joined the Diamond Cut podcast on Facebook group, what are you waiting for? We talk about some everything in there. Listen, I posted in there about common now, they posted a timeline of all of common women from early 2000s to now. And the longest relationship that common had was literally three years. My question to everybody in the group was, do you ask when how long was your longest relationship? Now, let's be clear. I want to make it very clear. My longest relationship was my marriage, which before we separated was 11 years. Okay. Now I want to put it out there. When it comes to body count and women, women, as you can see, men know about whatever. So common literally stays with a woman for three years and then he up and he gone. So the common denominator in all of those relationships is common as he's the common denominator. He can't be with a woman longer than three years. When I meet a person, I ask them, how long was your longest relationship? I remember asking my ex, how long was their longest relationship? They told me a year and a half by a year and a half. I want to say literally by a year coming up on a year and a month it was them creating all types of false ass narratives in their head they were trying to get find a way to get the fuck out the relationship and guess what i already knew and i suspected it i remember asking another person i was dealing with this they told me two years was their longest relationship I kid you not, we get to the two year, six month mark. They're creating problems that are not fucking there. You understand me? Prime example, my latest relationship, their longest relationship is three and a half years. I'm noticing that it's a lot of problems that has been getting created out of fucking nowhere. Let me tell you something. You as a person got to understand you got to heal your traumas. Healing your traumas come through seek, seeking help 
from a goddamn professional. You got to heal your traumas. And a woman that is catalyst that says, I can detach, I don't need to be attached. It's something that happened within her relationships that made her say, I only want to use men like their fucking sex toilets. Okay? Let's be clear about that. It's something that happened that said, I want to use men as fucking sex toys. And guess what? Men, at some point, when they show and prove that they are capable of protecting, providing, and praying priests for you, they show that they are then become a prized possession to you as well. Okay? So, it's times where men understand their value their worth and women we got to get to a place where we understand that's when they prove they're valuable to us okay now moving on what do i think about body count first things first i feel like a woman can reform just like a man can reform okay if a woman has more than 10 she still has the capability of chemically bonding to your ass. I'm just here to tell you. She still has the capability of that. Next, why would you want a woman with no experience? Now, granted, as far as men, I've only had six partners. Yes, I'm going to be open with my number. I don't give a fuck. And, um, you know, I've had more women, you know. But I'm here to tell you, um, with those men that I was either engaged or, you know, married, um, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, I chemically bonded mostly, of course, with the, with the hubby, but before him, I was engaged and I can, I was chemically bonded to that person. Like when they passed. It felt like I could feel their freaking soul in another dimension. Y'all don't even understand, okay? So stop playing with me. So with that being said, that's utter bullshit, okay? Utter bullshit. Now, when a woman gets to a place where she's callous, see, that's what men fail to realize. Just because you think that women are driven by their emotions, all women are not driven by emotion. And it's a sad ass thing, especially when you date women and you realize that they can be hard as fuck, callous as fuck. And you sometimes got to catch yourself from on to cuss they ass out. I'm just going to be 100 and keep a buck thousand. You hear me now? Hear me now. Okay. With that being said, trauma causes callous or detachment and it and it could come in your relationship where you with the person and they're either stifling you being who you are. If you cannot be 100% authentic who you are with the person that you with, run for your fucking life. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you this. Run for your life. I got to a place in my relationship where... I could not be authentically 100% myself and it messed with our relationship. It made me become cold towards the end because I realized that I was not, that person didn't value me or they didn't see me being worthy of their love, time, attention, talent, whatever. So it made me grow callous. So it was, but that was me being in survival mode. That was me getting to a place where I had to survive. And in order to be with that person, I had to do it. So with that being said, now that I'm back the softer side of Sears, you know what I'm talking about? I understand now what happened. You know what I mean? And why it became that. The resentment, the rejection, the this, the that. And I got to a place now where I can be emotional 
loving, caring, 